Hey, what's up guys? Jake here. And just last night I used an AI image creator for the first time ever. And I had a lot of fun. I created some really funny images and some really strange images as well. And uh, I also found out that the version that they're letting us use of these AI image creators, they have limits and boundaries. They have some issues. So I thought I would make a video and let you guys know about my experience using an AI artwork creator. And uh, you can basically type in any sort of command, any prompt, and this AI image creator, and there's several of them. Uh, I used Bing uh, image creator, and you can type in any sort of prompt and it will create an image. Uh, of whatever command that you give it and so the possibilities are basically endless and so I want to show you guys some of the images I created and even create some new images right here in this video so uh, here is one of the first images I created and they give you four images generally so I typed in uh, wolf getting outsmarted by a sheep and it gave me four different images. And so this is the first one it gave me. And it has a sheep reading a book that says sheep tactics. And the funny thing is it has three E's. So there's some issues with spelling, grammatical errors I can see <laughs> right away. So it spells sheep with three E's. I didn't tell it to do that. I just wrote, this is the only command I gave it, wolf getting outsmarted by a sheep. And then the Bing image creator snapped this into existence within seconds. So it's kind of funny. You got a sheep reading a book that says sheep tactics. And then the wolf is also just sitting here. So I guess this is what AI believes a wolf getting outsmarted by a sheep looks like. And here's another one, and it's the same deal, a, a sheep reading a sheep tactics book. And this one also has three E's. And then there's this other sheep back here also trying to get in on the sheep tactics action. And then look, the wolf's over here spying <laughs> on the sheep tactics. See, so it doesn't seem like the wolf's getting outsmarted in this picture. It seemed like he's actually outsmarting the sheep by spying on him and learning the sheep tactics. So AI has some issues here. Now this one, it seems AI did a better job. It spells sheep correctly on this one. And then it shows that the wolf looks distressed as if he's being outsmarted, that the sheep is reading the sheep tactics book. And like the wolf doesn't want him to read the sheep tactics book. <laughs> Who writes a sheep tactics book? Anyway, <laughs> so it gives you four images. Here's the fourth one. And it spells sheep with three E's. And I like how the wolf looks like he's concerned by this. But the funny one about this picture is uh, there's these question marks in the background, like coming from a tree. So it's like the tree has a question or the tree is confused. <laughs> I don't quite understand why there's question marks and it has an exclamation point <laughs> coming from a tree in the background. I don't know. It's AI. So AI does some strange stuff. It takes some weird uh, liberties. So this was just uh, me getting started using this. And so then I simplified it and I tried uh, something simpler like a whale at McDonald's. And it gave me this very cartoony version of a whale at McDonald's. And I was like, okay, that's too easy. A whale at McDonald's, right? So then I said a whale at McDonald's while surfing. So I upped the ante and put while surfing. And you know what? It did a pretty good job. A whale at McDonald's while surfing. So you got a whale surfing while <laughs> holding some McDonald's. I like the way he's got these giant fries stuffed in his armpit. It's pretty good for AI artwork. 
some of you guys may be thinking that I might have created these myself and I'm lying about AI creating this. No, AI created all of these, I swear. And I'm going to have it create some stuff later in this video. So stick around. But look at this. For a simple command, a whale at McDonald's while surfing, if you tried to create this yourself, it would take a while. I mean, maybe even hours, right? So now you don't even have to hire an artist. You can just give it a command, the Bing image creator or any of these AI image creators, and you can get results like this. And it gives you different options. And so then I really started to play with it. I wanted to try and get, get crazy with it and test its limits and whatnot. So then I put goblins throwing tomatoes at hippos. And surprisingly, I ended up with some really good images of goblins throwing tomatoes at hippos. I mean, come on. You got to admit, that's not a bad depiction of what I asked for. And it, this happened in seconds. It spat this out. So no more uh, spending hours on artwork. If, as long as you have the right prompt, you can create artwork like this in seconds. So I could see how AI could wipe out entire communities of artists. So here's another uh, image that they gave me. And look, the uh, the goblins that they made are, are cute, actually. So they made these goblins, like, smiling and happy. And then, look, the, uh, the hippos seem to be happy about the tomatoes. So apparently hippos love tomatoes, and goblins love throwing tomatoes at hippos. So it's like a win-win situation. See, like, none of the hippos seem to be distressed in any of these pictures. And I like how they have a tree that like grows these big tomatoes. Like that's not what a tomato plant looks like. A tomato plant doesn't grow into a tree. So the AI is a little off on this one, but whatever. You know. Oh, to me that one looks fabulous. And then look, you have the hippo eating a tomato. I didn't instruct the hippos to enjoy the tomatoes. I didn't instruct the the hippos to eat the tomatoes, the AI decided to do that on its own. Isn't that wild? Still, that's pretty damn good. It gave me those four images. Those are all pretty good depictions of what I asked for. And then so I decided to up the ante and then get like really weird with it and do something funny. So I put a cucumber eats a pickle. <laughs> and here's what we ended up with. It's cartoony. But they did what I asked. A cucumber eats a pickle. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. This one's funny because it has a uh, like a double-sided fork. Like this fork has two sides. And so there's a big fork on this end and then like a smaller fork on this end. That's kind of strange. <laughs> but whatever. And then this uh, jar of pickles over here. Has, is like sitting like right on the edge of the table. It's funny looking. This one's my favorite of all the ones because uh, he's not only a cucumber who's eating a pickle, and then he's got a, like a jar of sliced pickles and some sliced uh, pickle over here. Then he's got some garlic cloves. My favorite part, it included a picture in the background of pickles. <laughs> The AI just took liberties and said, ah, we'll give them some pictures of pickles while we're at it. So I think this is hilarious. And at the same time, it's a bit disgusting and disturbing. I don't know about you, but I think I'm getting a bit sick to my stomach because this cucumber is basically uh, uh, cannibalizing one of its own, right? So whenever I see a cucumber eating a pickle, it makes me a bit sick to my stomach because, you know, it's cucumber cannibalism, basically. <laughs> All right. So I had to take it up a notch even further. A horse with 12 arms goes scuba diving in the deep sea. Yes. And AI got to work and whip this up in seconds. Again, I didn't create these. AI created them. 
with my prompt. All I did was type in a horse with 12 arms go scuba diving in the deep sea. That's all I did. I just typed that. And then in seconds, it shot out this. And I was like, whoa, it kind of did what I wanted, but that's really weird. And what I think is extra strange is it has the horse holding these like gadgets and stuff that, that I don't even know what they are. Like, what even is this? What's he holding? What, what is that? I like how he has hooves and hands and he's got flippers on too. It's fantastic. But I was very, uh, I was a bit mind boggled by the fact that AI includes like gadgets and gizmos in his hands and I don't know what they are. It's like it attempted to create some sort of extra scuba gear in his hands, but it doesn't quite resemble anything that makes sense to me. <laughs> and that's not the only one it did that with basically all the horse pictures it didn't know what to do with the hands so you can tell ai has issues with hands and fingers so it doesn't know what to do with the with the hands and fingers to make it look uh realistic so you end up with these funky strange uh fin half finger half flipper things <laughs> it's kind of weird <laughs> And then they've got like bubbles coming out, which is also kind of strange. But, you know, hey, it, it is a horse with 12 arms scuba diving. It is that. I think this is probably my favorite one because it shows the scuba tank. And it actually like shows like uh, stuff going from the scuba tank to the horse's mouth. It's actually fairly realistic. But there's one thing in here that really... Uh, I have no idea why the AI included it, but it included this like extra arm that's like not like a real arm. It looks like it's like a robot arm, <laughs> right? It's like it's a, like a pole or something, <laughs> like a metal arm back here, but it still has a hand. And he's holding like pieces of, I don't know. What is that, like a like a, a piece of rubber tube or something? See, so the horse is holding weird stuff that doesn't make sense. And there's like air bubbles coming out of it. So I said uh, 12 arms. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So they, they added a, some extra arms. And if you count the, the legs back here, there's uh, too many arms and legs. <laughs> but... <laughs> It's pretty close to what I asked for, kind of, right? But still, it's so weird that the AI, like, starts to create things inside the horse's hand that the horse is holding, but the AI doesn't know what to quite make him hold. So it just, like, gives up. Like, it, it puts a tube, and then bubbles coming out of the tube, and then it just stops. It's like, yeah, but how does that work? Why the hell would the horse be under the water holding, like, a little piece of tube? And how would there be bubbles coming out of it down there? So, yeah, some issues, some kinks and bugs that need to be worked out with the AI. And again, every one of the, the horse pictures has the horse holding gadgets and gizmos that don't quite make sense. Like, what even is this? What the hell is he holding? It almost looks like, uh, I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe. This is like, it's like a cross between like uh, some sort of handheld gizmo and a flipper at the same time. I don't even know. Like I said, if you know what the hell the horse is holding in these pictures, let me know in the comment down below. <clears throat> All right. So here's a gorilla wearing a pink bikini in a dancing contest. It didn't give me four options for this one. It just gave me one. So it had a little trouble with this one. But it did spit out a gorilla wearing a pink bikini in a dancing contest. So, you know, it spat out some silly ones too. Gorilla wearing a dress dancing with the buffalo in a tuxedo. See, so some of these aren't as detailed, pretty cartoony and basic. But then I typed in 
something that I thought maybe it would have trouble with. And it did a really good job, actually. I said, Octopus is angry at Gargoyle for stealing his radish. In the first image, you got to admit, not bad. Octopus is angry at Gargoyle for stealing his radish. And then you got an octopus who does indeed look angry. And you got a gargoyle or, you know, some evil looking thing holding a radish. That's pretty good. And it gave me two different versions. And then in this one, the octopus is holding the radish. So it's as if the octopus uh, stole the radish back from the gargoyle or the AI got confused and didn't know who should be holding the radish. Still pretty good. So then I decided <laughs> to take it up a notch even further and add at Walmart to the equation. So an octopus is angry at a gargoyle for stealing his radish at Walmart. And you got to admit, it did a pretty good job. I think this is an accurate depiction of what I asked for. Octopus clearly angry at the gargoyle for stealing his radish. And there, he has he's in a shopping cart. So yeah, that's pretty good, right? Now here's where things got crazy and AI really started to do some strange things. It gave me this one as well. It turned the radish into an octopus. I did not ask for the radish to be an octopus. So what is going on with that? And then it's got like this gargoyle in the background. So that makes sense. But who's this guy right here with a crossbow? What's going on with that? That's like an extra character that they added. And then there's this like wizard looking guy in the background sitting on like a box or something. Why is he there? I don't, I don't remember asking for him. But the background is clearly at Walmart. And it looks like this is like at the checkout register. So it's almost like these are toys that are put on the checkout register that are about to be purchased. Like a guy's like, I want this radish octopus and I want this little uh, <laughs> a gargoyle gnome with a crossbow and then this other gargoyle. And then there just so happens to be a, a wizard looking dude in the background sitting on top of produce watching over this whole transaction. I, I have no idea. So again, this is where AI just went off the rails. Oh, and then this little tiny piece of octopus that's not attached to the rat, the radish octopus. You see this? What is going on with this? Is like, is that a live piece of radish octopus? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how that works. I, uh, uh, you be the judge. Let me know what you think is going on with this piece of radish octopus. Down in the comments down below. <laughs> All right. And if that wasn't crazy enough, wait, there's more. So I typed in fish catches human on fishing pole while angels cry. And this is when things got so strange that like it made me feel weird inside. Look at this. I wanted to have the fish catching a human. And so I wanted to challenge the AI by having the fish catch the human and have angels crying. I don't know. I was just like putting together weird things just to test the limits of the AI. And this is when things got extra strange. Look, it's got this dude and he's like standing on like a, a drowning angel. And this one included a, a butt, which was strange. I didn't expect that. And it's like he's fishing and he's got two hooks, one down here and one up here. And this fish is like jumping, what, out of the water to go after a bait, a baitless hook. And this angel is grabbing on. So it's like the angel is taking the baitless hook so it's like he's catching an angel or is the angel helping him catch the fish so strange and none of them are really crying 
I wanted the angels to cry, but they don't look like they're crying. So, yeah, AI definitely did some funky things with this picture. But wait, there's more. It, it gave me this as one of the options. And look, this fish has two sets of eyes. It's really weird. And then it made this black guy crying. Except he's got multiple streams of tears coming out of his eyes and out of the side of his head and out of the back of his ear. He's crying out of the back of his ear. And then there's like what looks like God with a fishing pole which is attached to an angel who's also holding a fishing pole which has a fish attached to it. And then there's like hovering fish parts like this is like half of a fish hovering above the water i don't know what's up with that so the ai included like random fish parts in the background i don't know dude your guess is as good as mine why ai decided to do that they don't call it artificial intelligence for nothing this is the most wicked version that it gave me at least i think it's got this like kind of wicked looking angel sitting behind this dude. And it's like he's fishing off of this perch and there's a baitless hook. And then it's got like a thing attached to this fish's head. And then like God with like a halo or like an angel God is like helping him fish. None of them are crying. <laughs> so... And then these fish down here look extra strange. Like they have like weird faces. So it's like AI started making fish down here. But then it's like it made them funky looking. And then this one had to be the strangest of all. It's got a dude catching an angel and a man at the same time. Or it's like the angels helping him catch a man fish. This is like a fish, a half fish, half man. Look, it's a fish, but it's also a man. And it's got a hook going into the man's eye and it's bleeding. What? What? And so he's like riding on the fish and his legs are like going into the fish like he's surfing on a half fish, half man. And meanwhile, these angels in the back here are like concerned. <laughs> I don't know. At this point, I realized I was using some really crazy technology. And not only was it funny, it was kind of freaking me out. So every time I created one of these images, I would sit there and laugh. But then the more detail I paid attention to, I would just get confused. And then the confusion left me with a very strange feeling in my body, like this is actual artificial intelligence creating this artwork, and it's taking these very strange liberties. It's taking uh, commands that I didn't give it and adding all these extra things that just don't make sense. So uh, I was blown away. And at the same time, like I said, completely weirded out by this. And who wouldn't be? So this thing has the capability to get evil. So I put uh, evil angels chase crying demons to see like what sort of evil images it could conjure up. And let me tell you, this thing has no problem conjuring up some evil images. I mean, just look at that. So I wanted to have the angels be evil and then chase away the demons and see what sort of images it, it would create. And this is what it gave me. Right? So this is just downright evil looking, right? So if you wanted to create evil artwork, like let's say if you're in a heavy metal, death metal band, and you want to create artwork for your album cover, you can snap stuff like this into existence in seconds with a prompt. You don't have to pay an artist anymore. So crazy. So yeah, if you uh, want to create evil stuff like this, holy cow, it seems to uh, have no problem. So I tried to uh, then create some funny images because I like to laugh. 
and I figured, you know, my audience likes to laugh. And so I thought, okay, let me see if I can create something funny. And so I prompted it to create McDonald's versus Burger King in a wrestling cage match. And I think I got the funniest images of all out of all the things I created. This one is my favorite. I love this image because there's so much wrong with it. And you can just point at all these little details that just don't make sense. So for starters, wrestling and cage match. Uh, yeah, I guess it got that part right. But I wanted McDonald's versus Burger King. And I wanted to see how the AI would make Burger King and McDonald's into wrestlers. And what it did was something strange and unexpected. It made McDonald's and Burger King into the same wrestler. So as you can see, there's McDonald's arches on this wrestler's body. And there's like a, a Burger King logo. But the Burger King logo is kind of messed up and a little bit unrecognizable. But it's the Burger King logo. And then there's something written across the wrestler's uh, tank top but it doesn't quite make sense. It doesn't look like English. <laughs> and so instead of the wrestler having a head, it's got McDonald's arches. So it combined McDonald's and Burger King into one wrestler and decided that the arches were going to be the head. <laughs> I have no idea why. And then the wrestler that it's wrestling in the cage match is a burger and this one has a head, but there's no logo. See, so it should have made this one like a Burger King and maybe had like a, a king's crown and then had the Burger King logo over here. I guess that would make more sense. But this one, it just created like a burger wrestler. <laughs> so McDonald's and Burger King teamed up to wrestle like Mr. Burger Man. <laughs> And then uh, then there's some funky things where like it got confused like uh, with the with the cage. So it didn't quite know how to insert the referee inside the ring and have it be a, a cage match at the same time. So look, the referee is standing in front of the pole and down here, it's like the poles going into the referee. So it's like the referee is being skewered by the ring pole. He's like in the ring and he's outside the ring in front of the pole at the same time. <laughs> and here's, this is the, the funniest part, I think. At the bottom of the screen, you see wrestlers halfway sticking out of the ring. So it's like the wrestlers are like halfway under the ring and like they, they like are conjoined with the ring. So there's like one, two, three four dudes conjoined with the ring what why i don't know ai and then there's random fries laying around <laughs> oh so that one was my favorite one of all the images i created i thought that one was the funniest one but this was the first day that i messed with it and so i know the possibilities are endless. I can create so much more. And here's some other uh, images that it gave me with the same prompt. McDonald's versus Burger King in a wrestling cage match. So this one created this guy, this wrestler. He's like, I don't know, Chinese or something. And he's got this gnarly tattoo. It like gave him this tattoo. And then it put this crown on his head, which looks stupid looking. And then this is just like a giant burger with feet sticking out. And then they're in like, I don't know, it looks like a baby's pin, right? It looks like that's what, where you would put like a baby inside, right? <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a wrestling cage. <laughs> and then there's a bunch of fries down here. What? what they're standing in fries? Dude. Okay. Thanks, AI, I guess. Then it gave me this one, and it kind of messes up the McDonald's logo, and it messes up the Burger King logo. It's like it purposely messes up the logos, I guess, maybe to like not uh, infringe on trademarks. I don't know. So 
It will include McDonald's and Burger King, kind of, but not really. <laughs> like, what does this say? W-R-L-A-C-H. Whirlatch. Whirlock. I don't know. McDonald's. Okay. So this one's got a burger with an arm sticking out and a random leg sticking out. And then McDonald's arches, but not quite. And it's like, this is like a man that wasn't quite put together correctly. So he's got like this arm sticking out up here and then this arm down here. But like his body doesn't quite look right. And like the angle at which the arm is sticking out and the location of the arm doesn't look right either. And then there's like one, two, three, four, five turnbuckles. And it's got chain link fence in the back. So it's like they tried to combine a ring <laughs> and, and a cage at the same time. That was the best they could come up with. I don't know. So that's definitely the worst one of the bunch. This one's my favorite by far. And then this one right here. It's got like a, a dude with McDonald's on his bandana. And then this dude over here with a crown. I like that. And then there's a cage in the background and it says versus. So I like this one, but here's where it gets, uh, you can tell the AI has some issues with like, you know, words and spelling and stuff like that. So in the background, it says like M E V E Meev, M C blub. And then it's got like a scoreboard that doesn't make sense with scores that don't quite make any sense. So, uh, yeah, definitely some issues and some bugs to work out. But for me typing in McDonald's versus Burger King in a wrestling match, it gave me several minutes of entertainment just looking and laughing. And here I am making a video about it, entertaining you guys. And I'll bet you some of you guys have laughed at these pictures in this video. So uh, now that you guys see what sort of images that this thing can, can create, I figure we might as well just go ahead and create an image on the spot right now. Just in case any of you guys think that I created these myself and I'm lying or whatever. No, this is 100% AI created. It happens in seconds. For instance, let me just make up uh, a random thing that I want to see. Um, we'll say a donkey goes skateboarding in Japan. That's pretty random, right? Donkey goes skateboarding in Japan. Now, it's not like they're just going to find an image that's already created out there of a donkey going skateboarding in Japan. I'm trying to make up something so weird that you guys know for sure that it's creating it on the spot. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create this right now. Donkey goes skateboarding in Japan. And so it, it takes a few seconds. Sometimes even a few minutes. But it will spit out something. I have no idea what. Sometimes it's uh, cartoony. Sometimes it looks fairly realistic. I notice if you create an image uh, by asking it to produce a guy in a car, it'll create something realistic. But if you ask it to create like an animal you know, doing something that an animal can't do, then it's usually a cartoon. And sometimes if it takes a long time to create the image, you can just refresh the screen and it'll spit out a new image or it'll spit out the image. So right here, it says, thanks for your patience. Your images are on the way, but it's taking longer than expected. When that happens, I just refresh the screen and then it spits out. There it is. Donkey goes skateboarding in Japan. That's a donkey. He's skateboarding. 
And this looks like Japan. Yep, looks like Japan to me. And of course, it, it makes it cartoony because there's not a, uh, a real image of a donkey skateboarding in Japan for it to, to work off of. So it'll usually give you cartoon images if you ask for something, uh, you know, such as this. All right, pretty good, right? So let's stick with donkey skate skateboarding in Japan, but then we'll add something uh, crazy to it that doesn't even make sense. Like on Mars, in Japan, on Mars, right? So now it's donkey goes skateboarding in Japan on Mars. What's it going to do with that? I don't know. We're about to find out. Sometimes they're funny and hilarious. Other times it's basic and cartoony. Not that funny. So it really all depends the combination of words that you string together and the result you're going to get. And the possibilities are indeed endless. And I'm showing you guys in real time how long it takes. So bear with me. All right, refresh the screen. All right, so it decided to put the donkey skateboarding and then add flying saucers. <laughs> so the, it just added flying saucers because I put on Mars. <laughs> what the hell? Look at this weird rocket that it created. And then look, there's like a random like moon up here. And then there's like this weird, these weird things that it put on screen. I don't even know what this is. And then like the car has some sort of like space thing on it. <laughs> what even are these? What, what is this? What is this little guy down here? See, the AI does some wacky stuff. So the more detail you add, the crazier stuff. It will do. Uh, <laughs> here's another one with a flying saucer. <laughs> He's wearing an alien shirt on this one. <laughs> then look, there's this weird alien creature back here. <laughs> okay. I guess that's on Mars. All right. That's my least favorite one. So as you guys can see, I just created on the spot. Uh, don a donkey skateboarding in Japan on Mars. And this is what it spat out. So this is how much fun I was having uh, creating AI artwork. And uh, I'm sure you guys can have a ton of fun. So I use the Bing image creator. And there's several different other image creators. This is just the first one that I ever tried using. And it definitely won't be the last time I use it. I could see myself using this to make thumbnails and memes and all sorts of stuff. So uh, I would recommend uh, that you guys mess around with this if you want to have some fun, if this seems like something interesting to you. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And in my next live stream, I'm thinking I'm going to have you guys help me create some AI artwork. We can create all sorts of crazy pictures. Uh, all sorts of funny images. I'm going to have you guys in the, the live chat bring up suggestions and I'm going to mix and match different suggestions from you guys in the live chat and we're going to create some AI artwork on the spot. So I'm thinking tomorrow, so the day after I post this video, tomorrow we're going to do a live stream and we're going to have some fun with this AI image creator. So. 
be on the lookout for that live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next video and on tomorrow's live stream. Peace.